Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm here with my buddy, Cam Martinez, and we're going to talk about uh, pretty interesting to dive on. What's up? You can say hi. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk about his new podcast that's, that's coming up here, The Six Figure Roadmap, correct? Right. Um, and just a little bit about you as well. And, you know, you do growth and operations for the company Leverage, which just recently found about it's freaking badass. Like it's almost a no brainer. Like you get a lot of like discounts and deals on softwares that you are probably already using uh, for like a low ass membership cost. So dude, super excited because there's some cool things you're doing for your launch that I kind of want to deep dive and give people some perspective and you know, something that they could probably do when they launch here soon. So uh, for people who don't know who you are, Cam, can you just kind of explain why you're awesome, what you do, et cetera? Yeah, for sure, man. It's it's funny. I've never like done a B live interview like this. But there's if you guys haven't done one, there's like a screen right here and it only shows you this part of your face and the rest it, kind of is like blurred out. So, yeah, it's not the greatest UI. It's like you're like in a prison, dude. It's, <laughs> it's like funny, it's so all I'm, white. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what people are actually saying. But uh yeah, so my name is Cam Martinez. Um I manage the growth and operations of Leverage, which is a um purpose led technology community that is restless in its pursuit to feed a billion people. And so what we do is um, we aim to change the way that technology and education are delivered to entrepreneurs. And so we have a membership and um, as you join our membership, it's $47 a year, you get access to um, courses, software and tools that help you grow your business at a low cost price. So we go out and negotiate with um, companies like DLive and Zoom and uh, Zapier and Active Campaign, Kajabi. I'm wearing the Kajabi shirt right now, and um, broker deals and discounts for our for our customers. So it's not exactly it's not like an affiliate program like concept. It's more of we creating meaningful long term partnerships and um, continuing to strive to to feed a billion people. So every time someone joins our membership, we donate a percentage to our nonprofit Feed a Billion, and that is our main. Uh, mission and objective. We just happen to serve entrepreneurs at the same time. So um, the more entrepreneurs we serve, the more we're able to give back to those in need. Feed a billion, uh, like where? Like where in the world? Uh, so it's mostly in India and Africa. Um, the founder, AJ, he, at the beginning of his nonprofit, would would take the food that he's distributing. There's a lot of um, like logistic issues that he had to work out and w one of the things was as he was delivering food to these places um he found out that men are still higher ranked in family relationship than women and if he delivered let's just say three meals to a family two of them were given to the males one was given to the females and he wasn't feeding um as many people as he thought and so he has a focus on delivering to schools that way when children are going to school they're guaranteed to get their full what, three meals or whatever it is that they're, that they're distributed out there. So um, yeah, it's mainly in India and Africa where he's focused right now. Cool. When did you guys start the company? It was founded in March of 2018. So we're a little over a year old. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. So when did you guys like, you know, did podcasting come into your scope and like, what was, what are you like envisioning like for the, the purpose of the podcast for your company? Man, podcast, podcasting, having a show has been a part of our entire strategy since we started. We just had to slowly uh, implement it as time went on. Um, I highly recommend any business owner, any entrepreneur to integrate a podcast into their strategy, not only for, you know, to build an audience, but it's really like you're growing your own network. For us, our intention was to um, build more relationships with potential partners like the CEOs of Kajabi and um, Thinkific and ClickMagic and all these amazing softwares that are requested by our customers and then also educate our customers on how to utilize the information that's given to them to grow their company. Um, so yeah, it, it's just always been a part of our strategy and always been a part of the curriculum that we um, push out to, to people. So. Gotcha. How did you kind of develop those relationships with those people? Um, yeah. Uh, honestly, man, this probably isn't going to be, uh, you know, a new technique, but we email them and we Facebook message them and we meet them at events 
Um, and then they're introduced to us through our network. So it's there's nothing special. Literally, like we do the outreach. Um, what, you know, it, let's just say it's it's the CEO of Kajabi, for example. I emailed him and said, hey, um, I, I knew a, a person who worked for Kajabi. And I said, hey, I know this person. They said that, that we could possibly connect. Here's what I'm looking to do. I want to showcase you. Um, here's what our company is. He read what we're doing and is like, I want to be a part of your membership and I would love to come onto your podcast. So, um, you know, it's a little bit unique because we are offering some benefit to them too. Um, but it, it really is as simple as just asking. Um, we, we literally just ask and tell them that, hey, this is what we're looking to do. This is how we think that you can help our audience. Would you like to be a part of it? And what you'll come to find out is that most entrepreneurs, not in a selfish or egotistical way, just love to share their message. They just want to talk about what they got going on. So um, it's not as difficult as you think. Yeah, people like feeling like important, I feel like. Yeah. Um, if you think about it like on the other end, when people reach out to you, like how it feels. Um, so I want to I want to talk about because you guys are doing something really cool. Um, you're doing it well. Uh, I saw that you started like a launch Facebook group for your podcast, like a launch team, but you're kind of using it to like you know keep them on their toes, let them know what's happening, you know, to kind of train them on uh, how to make this launch awesome for you, um, and really get them engaged in the process. Like, uh, what was that like? How did you like think of that? That I mean, I, I know a launch team is like kind of like it's common. But uh, like, what was the strategy in the start? And then how, how are you kind of executing it? So it was actually um, brought up to me by my, my um, business partner, Sylvania. He's the CEO of the company. And he just is one of those guys that just does research on, on what works and what doesn't. And he found that most of these, the most successful podcasts come from a really good launch um, at the beginning and then consistently like once a quarter or a couple times a year where you're just like, cause as you get to the top, you're going to slowly trickle down and then you're going to need to go back up again. And so we, we were just looking at what a bunch of different people were doing and we were like, why don't we just invite literally everybody that we know to, to come in and help us with this launch. Um, and another company that did this really well was the company proof. Um, yeah, they, yeah. we, we actually consulted with them. Yeah. So they, they just launched their podcast scale or die. Um, it's actually a really good podcast, but what they did was they were intentional with who they brought on. So it was all SaaS companies. They intentionally reached out to the CEOs of those companies. Um, but what they did was incredible with the design and their, their website. And they did the same thing with their launch strategy. They invited literally every single person that they knew, their friends, their family, their colleagues, their business connections to help them with this launch. Um, yeah, we actually, so I, I actually haven't told anybody in this group. We just have it like on our website. We did a case study because uh, we interviewed him as well. What we what, the advice we gave him, and uh, it's interesting. Like they even did a, a like a competition in their office for whoever can get the most people, um, and they were giving away prizes. And uh, they made bobbleheads for each guest as well, which is like <laughs> awesome in itself. Yeah, uh, it's an investment. But uh, hey, guys, if you're on live, give me hashtag live just so we can make sure everything's going smooth. But yeah, can we go a little bit deeper more now into like the uh, the Facebook group and like how uh, how are you creating the prizes and like, you know, tracking like the results of people who promote you the most? Yeah, for sure. Uh, one more quick note on proof. Cause I, I think they did it very awesome. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. But I think the message I would want everyone to take away from that is doing things intentionally. Like don't just start a podcast just to do it. And you're like, well, I have a podcast and I'll get a bunch of people on and then hopefully it grows one day. That's great you should have a podcast, but do it intentionally, like invite everybody on, grow your podcast. If you feel like your message and you believe in your message, um, that it's great and people should listen to, to what you're distributing out there, go all in, highly recommend it. Um, all right, so I'll get into the tactics of what we're doing. So we created a Facebook group. It's called the six figure roadmap podcast launch team. <laughs> um, and we, I, I literally just created the, the cover photo on Canva. It's a super simple, uh, cover photo. Um, but what I did was I first created a post on my personal page. So to my business partner saying, Hey, we're finally launching our podcast. Here's what it's going to be about. Here's our objective. Here is how you can help us. So I said, we're launching our podcast. Um, it's about helping entrepreneurs get from where they are to where they want to be on their journey to hitting six figures in their business. We want to hit new and noteworthy. Here's what that means. For those of you who don't know, how can you help us? Please join this Facebook group. 
and on March tw or May 29th, all we need you to do is have iTunes, subscribe, rate, review on that day so that we can bump way up in the rankings of iTunes. So um, that was the Facebook post. And then we emailed our email list, our messenger bot. Um, we, we have our business email list. We have our personal email list. We have our business messenger bots, our personal ones. Um, and then we blasted that exact message out to everybody that has come into our atmosphere, our environment, and said, please come help us with this. But there's a catch. If you come into our group, you answer our questions. We just want to make sure that you have iTunes. Give us your email so we can follow up with you and let you know when we go live. But if you invite other people, your friends, your family, your colleagues, your business connections, here are the prizes for the top three people. Um, and so we're, we're offering uh, the first level prize is like a year long Audible subscription or like a sweet Sonos speaker from Amazon. Um, the second prize is another speaker or uh, something else can't remember. And the lowest level prize is a gift card to Amazon and like a whole package of cards against humanity. Um, we wanted to make it fun because it's not just business, right? I could have easily said you can have a free membership to our, to our company, but we're not just attracting entrepreneurs. We wanted every single person we know to come help us. Um, and so the way that we're tracking that is when people come to our group, we're actually using a software we offer in our membership called Group Funnels, created by Arne Giske. Um, it's just an, a, it's a um, Chrome extension that when people answer your questions and give you their email, it kind of creates like a CRM and you can zap it to a Google Sheet. And that way um, we know who the person is, what their email is, and then we literally just have to upload that into our email list and send it out the day we launch. Um, but one of our questions is, who invited you? Please give us their full name so we can track all of these things and then line it up to who ha who invited the most people. Um, so super simple. And then I've just been in there um, updating people on the episodes I've been recording. I just put funny pictures in there like, hey, I'm recording my first episode and just make it fun because it really is supposed to be just a laid back environment, but also educate them on what they need to do the day that things go live. Yeah. And you're hyping it up. You're just kind of documenting the process. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, how many episodes do you have recorded? Uh, we have about 20. Um, so we're going to launch seven on the day on May 29th. We're going to launch seven of them. Originally it was going to be three. And this is kind of a cool tip I learned yesterday, actually. Um, the reason we're changing it from three to seven is because we live in a binge culture. And if people like the first couple episodes that we upload, they're probably going to listen to all of them. And if we don't have enough for them to binge on it, they're either going to forget or not going to find interest in it. Um, so we're going to do that up front and then drip every week, uh, every Wednesday. Yeah. And then another thing with that too is uh, give them options because you might have three episodes at the start, but like one of them might not be one of their current desires or things they want to listen to. But if you give them seven, they're like, Ooh, I like these two. I want to do them now. Um, yeah. How long are the episodes? Oh, uh, they're about 20, 30 minutes. Okay, cool. The interviews. Yep. Interviews. All right. Sweet. So I didn't know. So the, it's a prize. The prize is whoever refers to the most people. Yeah. Yeah. So whoever refers to the most people and I like the, um, getting our team, involved too whoever like having internal prizes too i like that a lot something i'm going to to implement today <laughs> yeah whoever can refer the most people um i know i could i gotta check because i'm pretty sure because my partner did the case study i'm pretty sure like we documented that whole thing what he said I can send it over to you um cool man so what like in the process was like the biggest struggle for you like creating this pro podcast and kind of how did you get over it um, I think the biggest struggle for me personally, because I am the host and I'm doing the whole launch process, um, was really, I guess it was kind of multiple things, but one was finding the time. It's easy to have an interview every single week, but there's a lot, as you guys probably all know, that goes behind creating an episode and launching it and making it strategic and making sure it's beneficial and grows and all that stuff. So find the time. I'm proud of, you know? And something to be, yeah, exactly. So one, one was kind of fear, like, is this actually what people want? Like, I don't know. It's not really, it's not really a immediate revenue generating um, focus on my mind. So let's just wait. But 
one thing that we learned is media is should be one of the more powerful parts of your business growth and how easy it is to connect with people, especially if you're offering to give them the platform to, to um, speak about their company or themselves or what they've got going on. And we were talking about this. The, the most beneficial part of a whole podcast is the before and after conversations you have with the person. Uh, Cause it's, it's time for you to like learn more about them, explain what you do, why you wanted them on the show and blow their minds. It's kind of like a, you need to have your elevator pitch ready. Cause they're going to ask you every time. Um, so yeah, I think some of the bigger fears were, were fear of, of launching it, time constraints. Um, and then we just saw the value, the, the complete value of launching a podcast as part of our content strategy. Um, and here we are. That's dope. That's dope. I'm excited to hear it, man. Um, what is like one thing you could change if you could, if you can go back that you would change like you know, starting the podcast, I know you're still like, you know, you're, you haven't launched yet and there's still more to happen. Uh, but you know, so far. No, I, I have a great answer for this. And at first what we were doing is we were doing interviews live inside of our Facebook group just to get engagement going inside the Facebook group. There was really no, um, reason behind it other than to mess with Facebook's algorithm. Um, but what I wish I would have done at the beginning is saw that we were getting all these people into our group to do live interviews just like this. Um, but it wasn't formatted specifically to put into a podcast. And so now, um, just yesterday we had Ryan Levesque on our podcast and I started out, Hey, this is Kay Martinez. Welcome to the first season of the six figure roadmap on today's show. We have Ryan Levesque. Here's his bio, get into the questions. But before I was treating it as a Facebook live and it was just like, Hey, what's up guys? We're live. If you, you're watching this hashtag or hashtag live. You're watching replay hashtag replay. And it was like two minutes of audio that we didn't need. And then um, they were answering questions live inside of the audio. And it's just, it's hard for uh, people listening to it strictly audio to follow along because it wasn't formatted to that. Yeah. So you mean like the scripting, like the kind of the journey. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So there's two things. Cause I, I do this, you know, and then I sometimes put this up in my podcast and, uh, you know, we have an editing guy cut out those pieces where I'm like, Hey, what's up Kylie? Or, Hey, this is Hasha, you know? So they don't know. And then also, uh, having another just, uh, introduction to the episode before the live mm -hmm. where you're just like for one 30 seconds or so, like, Hey guys, so this is a Facebook live I did with blah, blah, blah. We talked about XXX kind of pre-frame them to Got listen. It to the whole interview um i found is a good little thing to just do for any interview actually uh because then it kind of like they don't know what they're expecting if they just hop into an interview but if you say like we're going to cover these five topics you want to stay on uh the odds to stay on is higher so yeah so we I have i'm interested in, i i feel like i'm going to get some free consulting real quick um so we have the you just said to put the um kind of pre-frame them at the beginning of the episode, right? Hey, we had this cool interview with with um, Daxi and he's talked about these five things. Um, let's get into the interview. And then it goes to welcome to the Six Figure Roadmap, blah, 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 blah. And now here's your host and then get into the interview. Correct, yeah. So just having like, I, just the hook, the headline, yep. like the topics of the episode and why they should listen um, rather than just like a slow start. But I mean, that's what we do. Um, some there's also the option of starting with like a teaser or hook that the guest would say yep. at the front where it's just something that's like that blows their mind like some quote or something um that gets them excited so yeah um cool man so i'm i'm i have some rapid fire questions here cool if, if you're cool with that just I'm to ready. get it. all right sweet i'm about to get my gun loaded hold up <laughs> <laughs> just to get a better understanding of you man um so like in your life like who is your biggest mentor and what was the number one thing he taught you actually my business partner um he started out as my my mentor and coach and then with zero intention from me to ever start a company with him or or work with him in a company and he was helping me at the beginning of my journey in entrepreneurship find success and then now we've kind of shifted over to now we're business partners but he's still one of my best friends and biggest mentors um so honestly him <laughs> gotcha um so this is like a two-part question, but uh, what's, what's been the number one book of like your life that you ever read? 
Um, it's actually over there on my nightstand. Uh, it's called Factfulness by Hans Rosling. It's amazing because it kind of, the entire book is changing people's perspective from opinion to factual evidence. And it shows that the world is not as bad as it seems. That I've never heard of that one. Wow. That's cool. An incredible book. I wish everybody in the world could read it. All right. I'm going to take a note of that. Um, what's been like the number one investment you've ever made, like in a course or like something that's education where you, you bought it because it was for, you want to educate yourself. Oh, um, so there's this, there's this event called conscious transformation hosted by a guy named, um, Joey Klein. And it's really, it opens a whole new world of your, your emotional, spiritual, physical, and mental being. And really just like you, you learn more about yourself and you become aware more of the world. So I'd say that was one of the biggest investments I've ever made was, was that program. Awesome. Yeah. For most people, it's usually events or something in person where it's like, that's how you get the most uh, transformation. Yeah, you feel all the energy. <laughs> yes. Um, what would you say is like unique about you or what people say is unique about you and what you do and, and why you're different? Actually, my girlfriend told me this not too long ago. She said, you never do anything half-assed. I think it was kind of an insult, um, but I think it as a compliment because like I always said, this entire interview I didn't want to half-ass the podcast, which is why I kind of waited so long. I wanted to make sure that it was going to be good, that we had a, a successful launch, and the content was was premium enough, premium enough um, to educate people. So, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, did you say premium? Was that yeah, a word? Premium enough. Premium. <laughs> it's like a mixture of creamy and premium. <laughs> it was premium. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, what are you currently obsessed with, dude? It could be anything like in your life, just anything. Rock climbing. <laughs> That's dope. Okay. Like indoor, yeah. outdoors? Both. Just the whole thing. So I, the movie Free Solo about Alex Honnold came out in like January and I've flown a lot this year. Or Say that again? The guy who passed away? No, no. He's still alive. He's the guy, first guy to ever free solo El Capitan in Yosemite National Park. Gotcha. Um, yeah. yeah, it's an amazing documentary. Highly recommend, but I've watched it at least 10 times and it's just i love how he goes about his process of doing extreme things like that that's dope man and you live in colorado i'm sure that's how long have you lived there my whole life born and raised here oh snap okay do you feel like um i i've heard recently that like there's like an infrastructure problem or like a lot of people wanting to move there do you feel like that's happening totally man yeah the housing market is unreal here it's one of the highest in the country because everyone wants to move here i mean you got to think about it. We have legal cannabis and now legal psilocybin, which is in mushrooms. So everyone is coming here for medical research because. Well, I like, I read they, they, they're decriminalizing it, but it's like, like they could sell it. I don't think they can sell it yet. It's not as it's not distributed like um, marijuana yet, but it is decriminalized, which is the next, the step before yeah. sales. <laughs> That's a great step. That's the first step. Yeah. yeah, I think it's incredible. I don't participate in either of those myself, but I think it's amazing for um, many reasons. But yeah, I, I don't have a problem with any of the transplants coming here. It's a beautiful state that should be enjoyed by everyone. Um, but I my wish is for everyone to just be educated on the effects that they have on the environment of Colorado. So, Gotcha. That's awesome. Cool, man. Well, thanks so much for your time, dude. Uh, for people who are listening, um, where can they follow you? Also, if you want to plug your deal for leverage, cause it's a fucking insane deal. Uh, you can do that as well. Yeah. So you can find me Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all those platforms, Cam Martinez on all of them. Um, our Facebook group for leverage is entrepreneur deals and discounts with leverage inside of there. You'll, you'll see all the content about what we do and what our membership is. Um, you can join our membership at lvrg.it. So literally letter L, letter V is in Victor, um, R is in Roger, G as in George, dot IT. Um, essentially, our membership just has amazing deals on courses and software for you. So that's it, man. Cool, man. Awesome, guys. Uh, and go follow him, Adam, on Facebook, Instagram, et cetera. And uh, yeah, dude, thanks so much for doing this live. Peace out. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.